Today on the channel, I've stayed away from spoilers, and today, the day I never thought I'd see come, as we unbox the brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Loot Crate. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Loot Crate unboxing and review. It feels like it's been like two years since our last Loot Crate, but here we are today. It is July 6, 2022, as I'm currently filming this, and this just showed up on my front steps after a long, long wait. Now, a lot of us know all about this. I guess the Cliff Notes version, these should have been shipped out middle of last year into the fall of last year. Well, here we are, almost a year delay, no answers from Loot Crate, NECA is loosely involved, same owners, it's a little bit complicated, but I'm just glad we're starting to see some of this stuff shipping our way. Uh, hopefully we see the rest in a very timely fashion. They said I think basically all of them would be out in June and July. That is yet to be seen as of this point. But this one is here, and I believe this is technically Loot Crate number three when we've only received the first one so far. Uh, but like I said, hopefully we'll see the rest. And I've done everything in my power to avoid spoilers on this. I know what the figure is here. That was pretty much impossible to avoid. But I have no idea what else is in this box. So I'm anxious to find out what kind of knickknacks and things have came. To be honest, you guys have seen some of these unboxings of these Loot Crates before. Nothing has really blown me away. I'm really here for the figures, the rest of the stuff kind of is what it is but it, it's much better if it's something I do enjoy I think we'd all admit there but let's take a look at this box as usual it does ship in a bit of a shoe box pretty much plain everywhere except the front Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles loot crate so uh, without further ado let me find the thing get the old scissors out let's cut this bad boy open like I said I have no idea what is in here besides the figure so we're going to do this kind of random style and I'm just going to grab stuff out I'll grab the figure first because that's the most important thing here. Now, I did know what this was. I did know this was coming. Uh, it looks a lot like the Fugitoid package that we've seen as a Target exclusive, but it is Shredder, I believe. Technically Shredder. Claw Shredder is his name. An incarnation of Shredder I've never been familiar with. Uh, I do not know the Mirage comics, but I'm not opposed to knowing the Mirage comics. I wouldn't mind start reading that one of these days. I just got to find time. I'm so behind on things. Uh, I'm a busy, busy man, but cool enough, uh, my original intentions of this was to sell. Uh, when we pre-ordered these at first, I said, this is the one I don't need. I'll sell this, get some of my money back. You guys know the drill on that kind of stuff. Uh, but since then, I think I've changed my mind a little bit. I think I might end up keeping hold of this one. We'll see. Maybe we'll unbox it on the channel. I'm not exactly sure because we do have other comic turtles coming out. Uh, the archery ones, and then I believe we do have some more Mirage ones possibly on the horizon as well. So I might just hang on to this bad boy and save it for an unboxing another day. Uh, but yeah, there it is. Claw mutated shredder. I'm sure there's quite the story involved with that. Now let's get down to the rest of this stuff here. This isn't going to be a long video, guys, but let's see what we got. We got something. Oh my gosh, is this what I think it is? It is what I think it is. It's a fanny pack. So that's... Not for me, but it's interesting enough. Obviously, there's Krang right there. That's kind of a cool tongue-in-cheek thing. We did get a beanie of Krang. Didn't fit my uh, extra-large head, but this is interesting. A fanny pack you put around your waist. Of course, we know how Krang uh, was around the waist, kind of fit in the body of the android robot. So... Uh, it's okay. It's okay. I mean, it's kind of tongue-in-cheek, kind of funny. It does make sense. I was just joking to my wife the other day. She needs a fanny pack, and maybe I'll just give her this. I can just see her out in stores and running around with uh, this Krang fanny pack. But it's okay. That's not the worst thing I've ever seen. I'm going to say that. All right, next up, it looks like we got a T-shirt of some kind. What do we got here? You guys saw it before me. Is it hot garbage? Well, I got extra large. That is the set I ordered, extra large. I'm somewhere between a large and an extra large. It just really depends on the shirt. I have a feeling I'll be swimming in this one a little bit. Eastman and Laird's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Laird's. There it is. I don't know. It doesn't set my world on fire. Honestly, I wouldn't wear this out in public. You guys know I'm rocking my Accept shirt. Funny story, I just went and picked up pizza, and I walked in, and the guy said, Oh, man, you love Accept? Dude, grab yourself a drink. Grab yourself a drink on the house. So I did, and we were talking a little heavy metal. Then I'm taking my pizza out of the place, into the car, and I see two guys getting gas. They're rocking their denim and leather. They both had Iron Maiden back patches. 
flipped him the horns, and we were both on our way. So it was quite the heavy metal night tonight. Uh, anyways, yeah, except everybody listened to except, especially the Udo era. Ooh boy. Uh, but yeah, not for me really. I don't know what I'll do with this. Uh, sell it. I don't know if you really is. It's worth your time to sell. Uh, maybe we give it away on the Patreon, or maybe I give it to Emma. She loves to sleep in shirts like that, so maybe it's Emma's choice right there. We got anything else in here? Anything else? I feel one more thing, it feels like. Oh, it's a pin. It is Raphael. So this uh, Raphael right there. You guys know me, not a huge pin guy. Pins don't do a whole lot for me. I do throw a lot on a work backpack that I have to carry my work computer around and stuff in, so I do have some heavy metal uh, pins. Maybe I'll add this to the pile. Maybe I'll figure out something else for it. So let's see, is that it? Is that everything that's in here? Seems to be, seems to be that's all she wrote. So gotta be honest, didn't set my world on fire. Uh, this is probably the worst of the crates from this kind of series here. The one I was least anticipating and rightfully so. Nothing here blew me away. Nothing here I couldn't live without. Uh, we'll see. I'll play with that claw shredder. Maybe we'll unbox it on the channel, like I said. Uh, the clothing, the pin, the fanny pack, just kind of is what it is. But uh, I'm happy to report, though, that these are shipping. A lot of you guys probably already have yours. I feel like the last guy in the world to get mine. Uh, but at least I know the contents now. And I hope we see the other packs here in the next couple of weeks. So we'll keep our fingers crossed for that. And we'll see if Loot Crate tries to do another subscription thing. I don't know what the turnout will be on there. I think maybe those days are done, at least for Turtles. Maybe they'll take a couple-year break, try to put some distance in between the fiasco we're in right now. Uh, but it'll be interesting. But in the comments below, let me know your thoughts. Did you get this? Are you anxiously anticipating the other crates? Do you collect any other loot crates? Is there any other loot crates anymore? I don't know, but you guys let me know in the comments what you think about all this. Uh, and are you here for this figure? What do I need to know about this figure to be dangerous? Let me know that in the comments as well. If you made it this far, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the old notification bell, follow along on Patreon for early videos, bonus content, exclusive content, and all that kind of fun stuff. And then, of course, follow along on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, and ProWrestlingTees.com, search Kyle Peterson. So for a little Loot Crate action, I'm a little Kyle action, and I'll see you guys all real soon.